Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to enable virtual TPM in a Hyper-V VM. To install Windows 11 on a virtual machine with Hyper-V, you will need to use a generation 2 VM and ensure that TPM and secure boot are enabled. Otherwise, the operating system will not install. A TPM is a hardware component that performs cryptographic functions such as generating and storing encryption keys to support features like Windows Hello, BitLocker and more. It is typically embedded on the motherboard but can also be added as a separate component. In Hyper-V, you can add a virtual TPM to a VM. A virtual TPM is a virtualized version of trusted platform module. With Hyper-V, you can provide the Virtual TPM 2.0 device, allowing the virtual machine to be encrypted with BitLocker just as a physical TPM enables encryption on the physical machine. To enable Virtual TPM in a Hyper-V VM, you can use either Hyper-V Manager or PowerShell. Open Hyper-V Manager. Select the virtual machine, right-click on it and choose Settings. Click on Security. Under the Secure Boot option, check the Enable Secure Boot option. Use the template drop-down menu and select the Microsoft Windows option. Under the Encryption Support option, check the Enable Trusted Platform Module option to enable Virtual TPM. Optionally, you can also check the Encrypt State and Virtual Machine Migration Traffic option. When you are ready, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. This is how we can use Hyper-V Manager to enable Virtual TPM for a Hyper-V VM. Now, let's enable Virtual TPM using PowerShell. Right-click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. If you are not using guarded fabric and shielded VMs in your environment, you can enable Virtual TPM by using the Enable VM TPM PowerShell CM Delete without using Key Protector. Type the command get -vm security test win 11 and press enter to check if a Hyper-V VM has virtual TPM enabled. If the VM has virtual TPM enabled, the output will show TPM enabled true. Otherwise, you will see false after the TPM enabled line in the output. To enable virtual TPM for Hyper-V VM test win 11, type the command enable -vm TPM test win 11 and press enter. The command has been executed successfully. Let's run the command get -vm security test win 11 and press enter to check if virtual TPM is now enabled for test win 11. From the output, we can confirm that virtual TPM is now enabled for the Hyper-V VM test win 11. This is how you can enable virtual TPM in Hyper-V VMs using both Hyper-V Manager and PowerShell. That's all for this video on how to enable virtual TPM in a Hyper-V VM. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.